Hello you, welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I am here to show you the Warwick, a fantastic new build show home by Morris Holmes. Behind me, this red brick house is a four bedroom, two bathroom property. Approximate size is 1,424 square feet. And the price is available on application because it does depend on the phase that you buy the plot in, guys. So click the description if you wanna know more. Otherwise, stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together. Hello, come inside. Wow, beep. Okay, now straight into here. First impression, again, I love this. This is now, I am now starting to see it as a standard fitting that I'm seeing in so many new build housing developers, which is this protective matting you see on the floor. Love it, it's built in and it's flush. So it's great for wheelchair, obviously moving across. There's no trips or falls. But then you just dust off your shoes and then you can just kick them off and start the tour. Now that we're inside the house, let's talk about the hallway. I love the windows either side. They are clear. So if you have any privacy concerns, just put a bit of uh, uh, frosted film on there and then you're good to go. This is perfect because obviously it's, it's not uh, clear glass. So it's very private. You've got a little keyhole there for just seeing who's at the door. And in terms of the width of it, it's a nice size. So now that we're in the hallway, again, I can see this flooring, which actually looks like it's a ceramic tile in a wood effect. I'm seeing this a lot in new build houses which is this idea of having this wood effect but then making it out of tile so it's really practical. Ceiling heights look to me to be standard 2.4 meters tall and the doors are your traditional four panel doors in a white high gloss with a chrome handle. So far so good because the space in this hallway is just really nice and you're not tripping straight into you're not falling straight into the stairway that goes staircase that takes to the first floor. So the first door on my right, your left, is your clerk, a dedicated clerk space. This is probably where your BT, your services, all that equipment would go there, internet. And then obviously they've done a hook on the wall. I would ask them to put a light bulb in there so it's not a dark cupboard. And then that's really nice. And it's a double door, so it's really accessible. Then on this side, you've got your downstairs toilet. And can you see how it flows straight into that space? Really, really lovely size, really lovely size. And it's frontal access, so you come straight into it and the toilet's right in front of you. I like to talk about wheelchair accessibility. That's really good. And it's a two-piece suite, so you've got a toilet and a sink by Rocker. Really good brand. And then your towel rail, not a radiator chrome. This may be an upgrade, guys. Just remember, things we need to discuss with the developer. And in this particular show home, we've actually got half-height tiling all the way across. It's a nice touch. It's extra durable. All the splashes from the sink don't kind of mess up your wallpaper, and it's really easy to maintain. We've got a large double window facing the front, and normally this is this would feel like an invasion of privacy, but they've put blinds in front of it, and it's kind of got that obscure patterned glass, so it's actually very private. So that's your downstairs WC powder room. And then as we're looking into the, the space, we've got options to go this way, this way, or this way. If we go this way, this is our front room with a dual aspect. I love the staging. They've got your focal point here. If you want you to, to kind of make the space feel a bit bigger, you can just go with a TV mounted on the wall. Dual aspect because you've got a window facing the front of the property there, a double window with one opening light. And then at the back, we've got double doors, UPVC, that open up to the garden. And before you go further, Let's go back to the hallway and I'll show you more. So yes, like I said, this is a sizable room, nice furniture arrangement with an obvious focal point. And yeah, this is your front room, your living area. Staircase on the right and immediately opposite that is a utility. This is an unusual arrangement. So you've got your storage unit here. This is just storage, by the way but maybe you could add a fridge freeze if you want, a mini bar. You've got your sink here, stainless steel sink as well. Very good brand. And then this worktop is lovely. I love it. And I believe this is where our boiler is. Ideal Logic Combi S ESP135. Lots of worktop. This is a dedicated laundry 
I think, more laundry than utility. So you've got your space for your non-integrated Bosch washing machine, storage underneath. And then you've actually got an option for an integrated machine there as well. So separate washing and drying, that's good. And then you've got a door, a fantastic addition, a door to the side, your garden, private access. And then obviously that's great for drying laundry during the warmer months. And you can completely close it off. All the noisy appliances can go in there and we're back into our Zen space. Let's keep moving guys. So in this corridor hallway, we've actually got more storage space. You can, I'm five foot one, you can go all the way underneath it and it goes underneath the stair. And I like the fact the flooring continues into that space. You've got your consumer unit, which is your fuse board. You know, if you have any short circuits, it's easy to access. Uh, again, ask for a light fitting in there. And then this, wow, okay. So let me show you something that's pretty darn cool about the space so when you come into the space come into the space brian i just closed the door and look at this now you're going to go back into that front room again and that's why i wanted to show you really quickly oh i didn't want to show you but now you can see how the flow is a circular kind of flow around the home so this room actually opens up to the other room but they've staged it as a dining area They've done these really cool roof lights to the dining area. And obviously we've now got by folding doors, which what I'm loving, to, what I'm loving that I'm seeing more of is a separate door. So it's functional. And then the option to actually have the by folding element as well. So, you know, you don't have to open the full by folding uh, configuration every time you just want to go to the garden and grab something. And then this is the garden and we give you a sneak kind of a preview of the garden. You can see it's been beautifully landscaped there. But guys, remember when you buy your plot, you're going to have modest paving slabs, lawn and fencing. And the, ha the there's going to be fencing there and over there at where your house and property line starts and stop. So I know I'm, we love the garden, but just remember that's not what we're actually going to get. But that's OK, because you're still going to get a nicely sized garden. So this is the open plan space. I would say that it's very cozy. That's the way it feels. Um, in terms of size, this is probably about three meters from that wall all the way to here, maybe probably six meters from wall to wall, and then six meters that way. Um, sorry guys, if you're watching from America, I can't trans translate that to feet and inches. Um, but essentially we've got our fridge freezer over here, integrated. Again, integrated options are usually an extra, but it's nice that you have that option. Um, you've got integrated uh, double oven as well by Neff, storage above and below. The color scheme is like a gray wood grain um, shaker style cabinet with brushed uh, stainless steel handles. You've got kind of like a U-shaped arrangement for the kitchen. And working our way around, we've got storage over there, our bank of sockets for appliances so we can switch them off. The actual quality of the kitchen is fantastic. I can tell that because on the inside, the carcasses are actually like an off gray, a warm grayish color. Um, and this is pretty interesting. It's not your usual uh, kind of combination. You've got the recessed spotlights there as well. And then that beautiful worktop with a beveled edge actually continues and forms the splash back as well. You've got your extract fan here, which is super high tech. It's actually touch, touch screen as well. And it's three of them. So it's going to be very, very, um, effective. You've got your five, um, hob, uh, five hob nef, uh, cooker as well, which is great. And a large one in the middle for a huge wok if you're a really big fan of cooking and then more storage guys. And then that same system. I'm scared to let that go in case if I can never bring it back again. Oh no, it's shop people friendly. Great. So that's fantastic. I love that. Very, very versatile. Great. 
Um, the worktop continues all the way around. We've got a little bit of an upstand. It would have been nice to see them continue that up, but not to worry, they've tiled all of this. So that's very durable. So you've only got that little strip of paint to worry about. And maybe you can even negotiate that they take it up for you. You've got your one and a half ball by Frank and tap by Frank Chrome Tap and window in front of the sink. I love that. Yes, it is overlooking the side of the property. And yes, there will probably be a fence or your neighbor's car right there. But again, it's great to have that opportunity for natural light to flood in. We've got storage under the sink and then dishwasher. Because it's always the one thing that fights me <laughs> when I try and open it. It's a Neff dishwasher integrated. And then again, cutlery drawer, or maybe that's a cutlery drawer, just storage all the way there. Lots of space. I love the unit. And can I just show you the, the way they've staged this place? It's just fantastic. They've kind of tried to show you what you could do. So it's kind of like you can't make up its mind, can it? It's like, I want to work, but I want to watch TV. And then I want to sit over here. <laughs> it's like, it's just to give you an idea of what you can do. And whoever designed this is, this is spectacular. This is very original. And this is what I kind of would expect from like, um, headboard but by putting it here it can actually be a little pin board or a notice board for putting in things for the family um and yes so this is fantastic i love it fantastic space so should we go through there or that way let's go over here so again i could completely close this off or open it up like i am doing now and then you can see how the flow goes all the way around again through this space and i kind of rushed through this before because i didn't want to show you that but essentially like I said, dual aspect, lots of views, and now we're back in the hallway. So there's no escaping anyone on this ground floor. Now let's go to the first floor. Now that we're on the first floor landing, I just want to say it is an L-shaped landing and there is an opportunity for you to kind of like connect with the floor below. I love that. It's not cramped by any means. And now we're going to go into the first room, which is on your right. So this is a single bedroom. And as you can see, I think the way they've laid out the furniture is gonna be the most optimum way of laying it out. So you've got your single bed against the wall, a bedside there. I like the little wall mounted lamp, but remember that doesn't come with the house. That's staging, let's focus. So you've got space for a single bed, bedside, window here facing the garden. You can see the roof lights that were above the kitchen dining area. You've got a radiator and then they've done a dresser, but you could obviously make this a wardrobe. It would make the space feel a lot more enclosed, which is why I think the way they've laid out the furniture is probably the way I would do it. So now let's come back to the next room. So this room is a kind of, I would say a king size bedroom. This is actually a king size bed in here right now. Huge headboard and two bedsides either side. We've got a large window facing the back. I say large, it's not large. It's a nice sized window for the room. It's facing the garden. It's similar to the orientation of the other bedroom. It's just a bigger size bedroom. I'm kind of thinking, you're probably thinking like me, where does the wardrobe go? Well, here it is over here because it doesn't eat into the space in the room at all. I love it. So it's a nice little nook for the wardrobe. It's a double wardrobe. And obviously, if you're thinking about space saving, you probably want space under the bed or you can have a dresser opposite the bed. But let's keep going. And I've just noticed a little quirk. There's a little splayed wall, a diagonal. So we're going from a wider width to a narrower width. But anyway, that's a welcome quirk. So now let's go into this room. So this room, I would say the staging, the furniture, something's obviously on the other side of the wall. Um, but if you come into this space, we'll, we'll, we'll explain. <laughs> so this is another large bed. So this is a king size bed. Let me close the door. What's behind the wall was actually, I mean, what that was a wall behind the door. That's what stopped us from opening the door fully. So again, this is a really nicely sized room and they've optimized the layout with the furniture. There are a few pinch points such as here, but again, we are maximizing the size of the room. Again, we don't have to go with a king size bed if you want to kind of have a bit more space. But I think considering when the doors close, when you're actually in the room, this is a perfectly sized bedroom. King size bed, radiator, window face in the front. You've got a bit of a dormer arrangement. So you've got the ceiling kind of is kind of a different shape. 
and then you've got wardrobes built here that don't eat into the space at all and I have to say considering the different types of uh, fitted wardrobes you can get this is really really nice like the doors are fantastic they're in this kind of matte effect they've got wood veneer on the inside and they look super modern guys like this is so chic I love it so that is probably gonna be an extra <laughs> but it's nice that it's kind of fitted considered and you don't have to worry about it so now let's keep moving the next room is going to be the family bathroom family bathroom is kind of like the third or fourth room and it's the furthest away from the entrance to the landing you've got window facing the front of the house it's obscure so it's private then you've got a three-piece suite so let's start with the first one that's sink by rocker it's not a floating one it's got a pedestal and then it's got you've got a rocker toilet and then a bathtub over here let me just open the door it's fully tiled in this gorgeous tiling and little note electric shower so not a thermostatic one this is an electric shower it's by Aqualisa fantastic brand actually um, and then the tap for the bathtub is by Grower which is another great brand and in terms of the bathtub it's a nice sizable bathtub with a shower over bath with kind of this hinged arrangement if you do end up having a shower very practical indeed and of course we've got a towel rail a full height one just by the front door by the front door the entrance door and then this is the room that everyone loves to see which is your primary bedroom and as you can see it's a nice size if i walk all the way to the corner you can see you've still got lots of space do you want an armchair here a little coffee table you can do that so yeah it's a king size bed in here with a huge headboard and I love the decor it's very different isn't it it's very Pinterest with these kind of woven um kind of bedside tables but you do have space for bedside tables either side like I said a king size bed it's got a window facing the front of the property very good Let's see who's arriving at your property I spot a thermostat on the wall so this may be individually temperature controlled from the rest of the house TBC depending on the developer and location there's a little area here for you to create a moment or like most people it will have a tv above it and a dressing table um and then you've got fitted wardrobes done in this kind of like i like this it's a shaker style as well so they've got a double wardrobe here in a similar style internally as the room we just saw um so there may be some options to explore and then we've got a triple wardrobe here basically a double and a single again you can see it's fully customized so that you can have drawers there hanging pull, hanging poles I don't know guys it's a wardrobe and you can see it's a functional wardrobe with a hanging rail that's it and now leading off the primary bedroom is the ensuite good arrangement actually very very good so it doesn't feel like a dead end you've got a sink here the toilet here and the space around the toilet is really big got a window bringing in lots of natural light and that faces the back garden and then you've got here a very wide double shower with a handheld device this isn't an electric shower i can see and it's by the same brand aqualisa as well so it's a thermostatic shower large shower tray tiling all the way and then you've got your towel rail just there conveniently placed next to your shower and that's it guys well done you made it to the end don't click off so I've noticed quite a few of you are not subscribed this would be a perfect time to subscribe so that you can be notified next week when our video comes up and we'll see you then otherwise click one of these <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a dance click one of these videos and we'll see you any minute now bye